This is a blue 8 watt Philips LED lamp. It's a kind of Autism Speaks tie-in thing. Some charity, what have you, basically blue lights every April 2nd, what have you. Um, this is a lamp that they came out with being sold explicitly for that purpose. It's, um, it, it's actually not a true blue LED, which is why I'm doing this uh, video. It, it does have blue LEDs in it or technically blue dyes in it, but they're in cool white LEDs. This is just the um, LED assembly taken from one of their other products because they have other uh, GLS, retrofit LED, GLS retrofit LED lamps that look pretty much exactly like this except the uh, plastic diffuser is clear. Or, well, not clear, but it's um, a fairly translucent white. And also, if you look on the board, in addition to just the date code, uh, or the, at least the board art revision, it's um, uh, July 21st, 2015, so fairly recent. Uh, it says um, 2,700 Kelvin, which is also 11, 11 watts, which would fit because there are um, 11 LED positions, but only 8 of them are populated. The other two are bridged out with zero ohm jumpers. Uh, 2,700 Kelvin's about, is, it, no, it's exactly 4,860 Rankine. This is much more of a 10,000-ish Rankine, or um, if you want to use metric, um, 5,000-ish Kelvin light. Although it is um, fairly interesting just from a construction point of view because it has a pin header that's com that comes out of the driver assembly in the base with a little constant current switch mode supply. And uh, that just goes in this little um, socket that goes in the MCPCB. Um, but yeah, it's somewhat interesting that they didn't use proper blue LEDs and also have a somewhat thinner casing because this shell is rather thick and it does block a fair chunk of the light. Um, but yeah, it's a thing. Also, risk of electrocution because uh, a lot of these LED retrofit lamps have non-isolated power supplies. So if you touch that, it's reference to the main supply. You touch that, zap, zap, zap. And this one wouldn't even be much of an electrocution risk, be, at least just from the potential across these, because eight LEDs in series would be about 24 volts, or probably more like you know, like in the 24 to 26 volt range. Um, but it's constant current. Um, in the case of this, about probably 300 milliampere, third of an ampere thereabouts. And some of these LED lamps, they don't have eight of these; they have 40, and all of which are in series, and those just 120 volts DC coming out of the supply, it can electrocute you fairly easily, uh, so again, this is not something I'd recommend doing to any of these that you'd have anywhere where mere filthy mortals can uh, touch them, I mean, this looks like a, a somewhat interesting source for um, either making really small, um, cool white LED spots, but, um, or not, not spots, but floods, but something where you need a fairly small form factor. But, uh, due to the risk of electrocution, not the kind of thing that you do, especially considering that you can get cot lamps that do basically the same thing. And uh, something like this would make a lot more sense if they used a much thinner blue plastic dome and put proper blue LEDs, because you can get uh, blue LED lamps which are comparable to this in terms of light output that use 2 to 3 watts. So yeah, and, and but those use natively colored LEDs. Um, this is kind of stupid because a whole a lot of light that comes out of this is from the uh, spectral Gaussian of the um, what is it the uh, cerium yttrium aluminum garnet phosphor and these things and that is peaks in the green and the yellow with tails in the red and the blue all that light except for the blue is blocked by the cover so. Yeah, it's kind of a stupid decision. It's probably something they came up with at the last moment. Hey, we've already got these LED assemblies. Let's just whack them in and just, you know, change the color of the case molding. But yeah, it's a thing.